Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and we are back into City Skylines. As indeed we are, and where I last left off, I had added the ore industry over here. We had also set up this. I don't know whether it was last episode or the episode before it, but we can see a slight problem. Yes, indeed, the... Unfortunately, the... Um, oil industry as well as the ore industry not enough workers uh, no that's not the one not enough workers okay yeah that is if we look here we can see that indeed uh, yeah the oil and ore industries actually need educated workers and they're not getting them and that is pretty much why they are not uh, not happy not too too happy Basically, most of these will most of these will eventually go abandoned because they can't obviously find enough workers. Same with thing with this guy's it doesn't actually tell you. It just says not enough workers. Make sure there's free residential area in the, to allow the people to move in the city. But we do look that uh, and it says 14 educated. That's elementary school. Five well educated. Only five educated workers, and pretty much that's for everything. They can find all the uneducated workers that they need. They just have absolutely nothing in the way of... Uh, what was it? The educated workers. A regular base industry, they pretty much uh, only need uneducated. And same thing goes for the... Same thing goes for our agricultural, as well as if we get the forestry going in this city which we may we may not and I have some different ideas I actually this is a little bit different than last time pretty much I had initially my agricultural area going up like this because I want to fill this with farming but I really didn't want to do to that do do that too much and I really want to expand my residential and I'm kind of bumping into space constraints more or less I need to expand out further than I am currently we aren't very far from the 6,000 people required to get to what was it uh, big town big town allows us to get uh, yes indeed higher density residential and offices so we are actually gonna have to take a ser very serious look at education because guess what we got nothing <laughs> My goal to keep everything uneducated kind of not working out. So now we actually are going to need to put in some education. And as you can see, I don't have the mega elementary anymore. I really didn't like it. It was the exact same cost and upkeep. And it actually it was on a smaller piece of land. Had the same water and electricity usage. But it held more people. And while you might th say... Why wouldn't you use that? You know, that seems even better than the elementary, and that is the point. The mega elementary is just simply too much better, I feel, than the uh, the regular elementary, which is why I don't want to use it. And why don't I want to use it? Well, because it's uh, kind of overpowered the way it currently is. So what we are going to do is try to find a place to put in and we are going to need several elementary schools. We do have eligible 500 people. So we are going to want to have some decently covered elementary school coverage. And yeah, we definitely are going to for this area. I, I'm kind of not liking how I built this only because it just provides a very difficult way of supplying services so what I'm going to do is yeah, let's uh, put this oh nope nothing there so we are going to going to put this right about that will provide decent coverage I'll put it right on the edge of the block and we're going to put a second one right around, right round, 
Oh, I did not leave any space in between here. All right. So what we are going to do is throw the second one. We have that one, first one here. Let's uh, let this go. Let us know how much coverage uh, we have. It's not really all that much. What I am going to do is I'm going to put the second one right about here. That's pretty good. And let's get that started. So that provides a fairly decent coverage. So hopefully that will allow us to get some more educated work or yeah, educated workers. That's what we are going to need. And then we are going to want to have a high school. High school, well, we have pretty good coverage on here. We don't plan to keep this completely as green space. It is a very good place for services and what we are going to do is put it right about here and we are going to just to make sure that they have access put that there no I was hoping that wouldn't what we can do I am actually going to rebuild this because I don't like that up a level over let's go down to there and like that and we are going to tear this out there we go that looks a little bit better well <laughs> all right so actually one thing do we have a bus stop here not that it necessarily matters well, that was a fair amount of cash we uh, spent there 24,000 and another 20,000 so 44,000 to put in education services it looks like yes indeed we really uh yeah we really um put in the uh <laughs> uh yeah yeah yep 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 so we're gonna put in some more uh power and we might as well put in a second wind turbine get us an extra 40 megawatts and oh wait a minute oh that's right let's uh drop our budget down that was only supposed to be temporary that's right so how much power are we actually producing 136 we have a consumption of 106 this provides yeah that provides How's this doing? 82% full. That is working at the moment. We have 240 cubic meters and water consumption of 154. Garbage. Our landfill usage is 49%. Incineration status is nothing. Garbage production 134,000 a week. How's our traffic doing? Oh, indeed, indeed. Traffic's no problem here, although with this, we are going to have to deal with uh, some heavier traffic along here. So what we are going to do is take a look at what is happening here. Forestry truck, late returning to facility in Lakewood. It's a box truck, return to facility, the box factory. And that's coming from Rockdale, forest truck, going to a fish, fish stick factory. Interesting. So right now, rather than wandering around and 
checking out the various uh, trucks and what, what they are doing. We are going to continue and... Yes, indeed. These are annoying zones to zone. Let's uh, zone that. And that shouldn't be too, too close. So we are going to zone that as well. And pollution. I don't believe that really should be that much of an issue. So we are going to put more residential there. We are going to want to... And I was thinking about putting some forestry here. I did have uh, some forestry plant here, but when I cut this back, I don't think it really was going to work out so well. As this will definitely provide a very good residential area. And that is what we are going to want to set up next. Simply because, well, we are running out of space to really zone in our residential here. And we might as well expand into the Hemlock District and Barlow Hill since our development in this area is kind of limited. And I really don't know if I'm going to extend the industrial past here or build this as a residential commercial. Although, supposedly, offices don't really care about pollution. I was a worker working in the office. I wouldn't really wouldn't want to be working near polluting factories anyway. So that said, and no, we don't got uh, any. We're going to need another thousand twenty people in order to get high density zoning. So what I am going to do is, how do we want to have this downtown? I believe indeed that there are ships that come up here. So there could be potential for a harbor, and passenger harbors. Zones, okay, this is where I wanted to Helmlock District. Although, now that I've pushed this down in here, I could actually make this one big district, and I think that's what I'm going to do. And we are just going to do this. And yes, I want to do a bit of farming in there. Now, how is this going to be laid out? We are going to want to have probably a road coming up here. We're going to want... We may have to upgrade this. I love, love, love my setup I have. I kind of modified it when I changed all the zoning here. But I may have to upgrade it to allow for additional capacity. Hmm. Or, if I have a road that goes this way, a road, say an interchange here. So many options, so many possibilities. I could also expand a bit of industrial over here. Although I think I was also going to do... I changed my mind so much I don't even know what I'm going to be thinking next. <laughs> so we are going to do a bit of residential in here. And so what I want to do is yes, like this. And like that. We're going to do a bit more commercial. This makes sense here. This is a little too close. I'll leave this as open park. 
let's do commercial there. And yeah, commercial here. Yeah, I have plenty of commercial demand. I might put some offices in here. Five thousand people. All right, I really want, I really need to lay out. <laughs> have a ring road down this way. Alright, I just wanted to uh, do a little bit of uh, tweaking some numbers and just uh, trying out a few things. I did time lapse that a bit just so you could see what I was doing. I'm uh, doing some measurements and figuring out where I wanted to have, say, the main, uh, say, downtown or how I want to run these roads. And as you can see, I'm not sticking with my standard grid. I am going to lay out things like that I wanted to yeah just have a reasonable grid set up and this is where I plan to build my or one of my interchanges and I may not actually make it to be an interchange as they can be problematic and when we do grow this we are definitely going to want to grow it slow we want to go slow and steady Mainly because if you try to do too much too quickly, it ultimately ends up. Is this? Yeah, it is a highway ramp and then it splits off. You know what? I'm going to change that. I'm going to upgrade this to that and that. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that I fix these zones here. Yes, indeed. And... Yeah, I'm gonna change that to just uh, one lane. Doesn't need to be two lanes. It'll also be faster, get them out of the city. And, oh yes, it's nice to see them taken. All right, so they are, they are definitely Still looking for some educated workers, but yes, indeed, we have, well, we are looking good getting those un or educated workers. It's just a matter of time to let the education. How are we going here? Graduated citizens, 9%. Eligible, 475. Capacity is 600. So most of these guys are going to be getting educated. 
and we have our high school here. How is they doing? Eligible 1332, capacity of 7,000, graduated 7%. We have 87% is uneducated. It was 100%. We've educated 13% of our population, so that is awesome. And so, what do we have for educated? Uh, graduated. There's a few that look graduated. There's a few here. They're all right. Uh, apparently, someone there is going to school as well. And you can see, even though they are far from school, it looks like they are picking up education as well. So you don't have to be within range, although it does help you a whole lot better. We are definitely going to want more education, but uh, that will have to come for another time. Fortunately, I ended up catching that, uh, yes indeed, so they got three of eight educated workers. Yes indeed, I did catch that uh, these industries are going to need educated workers, and we would have needed them eventually. And uh, the fields, these have more than enough educated workers, fortunately. Okay, that's down to 14 per, or up to 14%. So it looks like uh, if we just let this run, we'll start uh, getting uh, more, more educated workers. 10%, 8%, educated is 15%. And yeah, they are looking good, looking good, good indeed. And I hear an upgrade. What do they want? Educate more citizens who allow this building be upgraded. Yes, indeed. So we are going to start seeing our residential get their upgrades they want. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I did a bit of uh, time lapse there as I wasn't really sure where I want to expand next. I'd like to have a bit of a plan. And I hope you like the way that uh, the city looks and maybe you're using some of the ideas I've uh, done here in your own cities. Oh, I really want to fix that. <laughs> but that'll have to come next time. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and have a good day.